Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm taking a look at Halo 4 running on Intel Core i5 1135G7 with the Iris XE graphics. And for this test, we are running the game, as I showed on the settings page, a borderless window at the full resolution of the display, which is 1080p. We are using 100% render scaling, so we are running at that full 1080p resolution for the 3D content, and we are using the enhanced graphics settings. So this is improved on the original Xbox release in some regards. And while you know this is only integrated graphics and we are running the higher settings for this game, we actually get a good playable experience with it. The frame rate is capped at 60 frames per second by default, and I've left that in place. And while we're not achieving that 60 frames per second constantly, we are getting to it in places. And generally, while it does dip into the 50s, 40s, 30s in places, as you can see, there is a small frame rate counter in the top left. Um, I didn't notice it dropping below 30 frames per second during the sort of 40 minutes or so I played the game. And I've, I was having quite a good time with it. For competitive multiplayer, you may want to drop the um, settings down to try and get close to that constant 60 frames per second. There are original and performance presets, as well as the option to use render scale to bring the resolution down to, say, closer to 720p. And that will, of course, increase your frame rates. But overall, I would say, certainly for the single player, good playable experience. I will note that obviously this machine has been upgraded to 16 gigs of RAM because originally it came with single channel memory. Um, if you are running Iris XE, I, I would make sure you, if you're gaming, that you have a dual channel memory configuration. And also I did experience one crash with the title. Um, after about half an hour of play, it uh, crashed out to desktop with an error message. Uh, whether that was a game issue or a because this is only just released in the past few days or a driver issue because Intel haven't quite optimized this title in their drivers yet, I'm not sure. But something to bear in mind and something that if you're again, if you're playing multiplayer, you don't want to be experiencing game crashes. I hope you found this video useful and um, do let me know in the comments below what other titles you would like to see me testing. Give this video a like if you found it helpful and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.